three, two, one, ignition. Climate scientists gathered at the Vandenberg Space Force Base today, sensing a watershed moment. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower at Space Launch Complex 4 East. Strapped to that SpaceX rocket, a state-of-the-art satellite with the sole objective of tracking methane pollution around the globe. Jeff Prevett even took a personal trip to be there. I've been to a few launches of different things, and I thought, all right, this is historical enough. I, I want to just go and witness it. Privately developed by several groups, including the Environmental Defense Fund, Google, and Harvard, the $120 million project will locate and quantify methane emissions over time. That has never been done. It's going to be a new tool and valuable resource that will tell us new information on emissions that we don't currently know. The satellite is looking for methane pollution from oil and gas production because it's a major contributor to global heating. If we can slow down the release of methane or abate it significantly because it is 80 times more powerful than carbon dioxide, that's where the, uh, that's where the power of this whole thing is. The public data from Methane Sat is expected to uncover sources of emissions that are not yet known, and experts are excited about the potential impact. It's one of the lowest cost opportunities uh, to tackle these issues. And just the size of the emissions right now, uh, we, we can really make a huge difference in the short term. Fairing separation confirmed. The Canadian government is monitoring the mission, but says it needs to evaluate the technology before it can use it to support regulation. Experts say if governments were to use the public data collected, it could be a powerful tool to slow climate change. Jill English, CBC News, Toronto.